now let us discuss about language in theory of computation uh, language concept comes under basic or central concepts or mathematical notation in automata theory first let's see the definition for the language and then we will see various examples as well as various operations on the language first let's see the definition for the language a language is denoted by capital L a language L over the alphabet sigma is a subset of sigma star that is L subset sigma star we know about sigma star so sigma star means uh, it contains a set of strings of any length suppose let us assume that uh, sigma is equal to a sigma is equal to a then sigma star means sigma star means set of strings of any length so if you take 0 if you take sigma power 0 so sigma power 0 means set of strings of length 0 that is zero occurrence of the input string that is epsilon sigma power 0 means epsilon next set of strings of length 1 so that means we have only one string that is a sigma power 1 means a sigma power 2 means set of strings of length 2 that means 2a sigma power 3 means set of strings of length 3 so here the meaning of sigma power star is it contains set of strings of any length so here l is a subset of sigma power star so that means the language l contains a substrings and those strings must present in sigma power star so all the strings of the language must be a part of sigma power star so that is the definition for the language a language l over the alphabet sigma is a subset of sigma power star now let's see some examples on the language first example the language for any number of zeros so here what is sigma sigma means here the alphabet contains only one symbol that is zero now let us see the language l equal to so here any number of zeros any number of zeros means we have to consider zero number of zeros also zero number of zeros means uh, the language doesn't the, the uh, we don't have any string the string doesn't contain any symbol that is nothing but null string or empty string that is epsilon next one occurrence of zero means single zero next two occurrences of zero means two zeros so likewise we can have n number of strings now first now let's see this example the language for set of strings of any number of zeros and ones so here the first language is for only zeros whereas this language is for any number of zeros and ones so if you take this example then what is sigma sigma is equal to 0 comma 1 now let us see the language l equal to so any number of zeros and ones so that means first string is 0 number of zeros and ones so that is epsilon next string is 1 1 occurrence okay if you take one occurrence so one occurrence of zero means so we can take as zero any number of zeros and any number of ones next we can take one also so here we have one occurrence of zero one occurrence of one so likewise we can take two occurrences so two occurrences means we will get zero 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 one one zero one one so here the string length is two so likewise we can take n number of strings so likewise we can take five zeros five ones any number of zeros and ones there is no constraint on zeros and ones so this is the language now let us see one more example the language of all strings consisting of n zeros followed by n ones so here the language contains set of strings of n zeros followed by n ones so that means number of zeros are followed by number of ones so n value must be the same so l equal to so what is the first string what is the first string that is n value is 0 that means 0 number of zeros are followed by 0 number of ones that is nothing but epsilon what is the second one one zero is followed by one one that means the string is zero one so one zero is followed by one one next string 
let n value be 2. Two zeros are followed by two ones. So that means we have two zeros, two occurrences of zero, two ones. Next, if n equal to 3, then three zeros followed by three ones. So likewise, we can take a number of strings. Now let's see one more example. The language for set of strings of zeros and ones with equal number of each. So here the number of zeros and number of ones must be the same. So what is the first one? Epsilon. So epsilon means we have zero number of zeros and one zeros. Next, can we take this zero? Can we take zero here? No, we can't take zero. Why? Because in zero we have single zero. But there are no ones. But here what is the constraint? Number of zeros and number of ones must be same. So can we take zero one? Yes, we can take. Why? Because we have zero, one zero and one one. Can we take one one? No, we can't take one one. Why? Because here the number of ones are two. But we don't have any zeros. Here the number of zeros and number of ones must be the same. So can we take one zero? Yes, we can take one zero. Why? Because number of zeros and number of ones are same. We have one zero one one. So likewise we can take one one zero zero. So one one zero zero means two ones and two zeros. So likewise we can take zero one zero one. So number of zeros are two, number of ones are two. So likewise we can have a number of strings. Let us see the last example. Describe the following language over sigma equal to a comma b. Here the language is given. So for the language we have to write the problem statement. So L equal to A comma, AB comma, AB power 2, so on. So if you take any string, then it is starting with A. And in the first string, we don't have any Bs. So that means zero number of Bs. Next we have, if you, take, if you consider the second string, we have one B next to two Bs. So here what is the language? So the language for set of strings starting with A, followed by any number of Bs. So this is about the various examples. Now let us see the operation. We can perform six operations on the language. Now let us discuss all the operations one by one. First one is union of two languages. Let we have two languages such as L1 and L2. Then union of two languages is denoted by L1 U L2 or L1 plus L2. So U, U as well as plus both denotes union operation. Now let's see what is union. We get the strings from both the languages. Let L1 equal to it contains two strings good boy. L2 equal to it also contains two strings good girl. Then L1 union L2 equal to it contains the strings of both the languages. So what is L1 strings good boy. What is L2 string good girl. Now let us see about the second one that is uh, intersection operation, intersection of two languages. It is denoted by L1, uh, this symbol is reverse of U, L1 intersection L2. We get the common strings from both the languages. So uh, let us take the same example, L1 equal to good boy, L2 equal to good girl. So here what is the common string from both the languages? Good. So now L1 intersection L2 equal to within the curly braces good. Now let's see the third one that is concatenation of two languages. It is denoted by L1 dot L2. Here concatenation means joining, appending. We can combine the strings from both the languages. So L1 dot L2 equal to. So first we have to take the first string from the first language. So combine this string with uh, the strings of the second language. So good, good. Next combine good and girl. So next first one is good, good string. Next one is good girl. Next you take the second string from the L1 and then combine with L2. So boy, good, boy, girl. So boy, good, boy, girl. Now let us see the fourth one that is difference of two languages. It is denoted by L1 minus L2. It contains the strings which are in L1 but not in L2. So if you take the same example, here we have boy, boy is present in L1 and it is not present in L2. So L1 minus L2 means within the curly braces boy. Now let's see the next operation that is clean closure. This can also be called as clean closure can also be called as star closure also. Star closure 
or this can also be called as clean star also it is denoted by l power star it contains the strings of any length including the null string so it contains the strings of any length and it also contains null string or empty string also l star equal to we can write as l power 0 union l power 1 union l power 2 so on so l star equal to l power 0 means the language doesn't contain any string it contains zero number of uh, that string contains zero number of symbols so that is epsilon union l power 1 union l power 2 so on let us take an example sigma equal to a comma b then what is l star already we have uh, we have written in uh, sigma star only it is similar to l star and sigma star both are same only it contains the set, set of strings of any length so zero number of uh, a and b means epsilon next to 1 a 1 b so a b next to two occurrences means we can take a a a b b a b b likewise we can have n number of strings and the last operation is positive closure positive closure or this can also be called as clean plus clean plus next it is denoted by l power plus whereas clean closure is denoted by l power star l power plus contains the strings of any length excluding null string here the only difference between clean closure and positive closure is clean closure contains empty string that is epsilon whereas positive closure doesn't contain empty string so here the formula is l power plus equal to here we don't have l power 0 so l power 1 union l power 2 so on we don't have any epsilon next the language is let sigma equal to a comma b then we can write l power plus equal to we don't have any epsilon a comma b comma so on n number of strings okay so here the formula for l power plus is l power plus is equal to l power star minus epsilon so l power plus means it doesn't contain any epsilon so if you subtract epsilon from l power star then you will get l power plus so this is a 